Hey y'all, so if you watched the video of me um, using Pixlr to show you how to do the airbrush effect names or airbrush effect, um, then you'll know that I say save once you get your image made how you want it. You want to hit file and you want to save it as a PNG. Do that step. That is right. Now, you save it as a PNG in case you want to put it on a solid shape like an earring shape or whatever. You could put it on a shape to print this out. Maybe you want to make a sticker or something like that. Then you can save, the, save it as a PNG to do that. But you also want to save it as a JPEG so, so you can get this white background around, around it. And I will show you, like, once you pull it into Cricut or whatever, why you need to save it as a JPEG to use it for sublimation if you're going to sub T-shirts or whatever you're going to be subbing. If you're making like a, a JPEG image for tumblers or something like that, then you can save it as a PNG and just pull it onto that JPEG image or, you know, a image that has a solid white background, black background or whatever you're going to be putting it on. Just make sure it has a solid background. Um, if you're going to do it for tumblers or whatever, you're going to make a collage type image for a tumbler. So that is fine. But in order to use it for sublimating T-shirts, or mask or any other apparel or whatever else you want to put it on you you will need to save it as a jpeg and i'm going to pull it into um cricut to show you why i'm going to pull the png and the jpeg over into cricut to show you why before i do that though if you create it in pixlr um you want to make sure you want to open once you save it as a png and a jpeg you want to open the png part back up in Pixlr and you want to unlock it and you just want to size it down some when you're creating the image when you're creating your image whatever you're doing make sure you give it enough space so you're not all the way up to the edge because if you get this um airbrush image up to the edge and then save it, it will you will see a line you it will cut it it will like a line of demarcation you will see that line it will cut that soft edge off and you don't want that if, especially if it's a color digit if it's white that's fine because you're going to do it on a white background anyway but if it's um a colored edge then you're going to um, run into a sharp line on the edges so make sure you have enough area around it where it's not too close to here because you want to um make sure your image is clean so you can work with it so if you want to pull it back in and size it down that's fine but if you want to uh, make sure, just do it before you have to so you don't have to pull it back in to size it just make sure your image is you got enough padding around the image when you're creating it and anything you use white keep that in mind that is going to show through so you you will get some of this detail where it's on the black you'll get that but everything where it's bright white is the t-shirt will show through so keep that in mind as well when you're creating so when you pull them into Cricut or silhouette you still want to make sure they're a complex image still click that continue and on my images are huge so if you get them from me they're huge if you create them you can create them however you want to create them large or small it's up to you so just make sure you have it on um, complex and make sure you still choose print then cut okay so you, as you can see i have both of them pulled into um cricut now and as you can already tell the png you see how this looks the png looks crazy and this is what you more more times than not will get because it these programs do not read png this type of png is well because it has gradients and it does not read create gradients well so you will have to make sure you see how i've done this one it has a white background so if you if you've got um pngs from my website then you could just add a white background or open it in pixlr and save save it as a jpeg that way you can have a white background if you plan on using it for um t-shirts or 
whatnot. So to get it to print the right size, if you're going to use it, you want to use it for t-shirts, what you will have to do, let's say you're making a shirt, just grab you a square and you want your image, what, eight inches or whatever, whatever, let's just say eight, eight inches. And if you're going eight by 11, then you put eight wide, 11 high, do, do like so. Well, with this image, because it is a breastplate image or, you know, across the chest image, it will be 11 by eight. So you can just flip that over like that, or you can just go up and um, change the settings back up here. So you can put 11 wide and then 8 high. That that will be how you can gauge your um, how big to make your image. So you will take it. You will have to take an account that. Um, let's see, let me fix this first. You will have to take into an account how big um, you can do print and cut in Cricut and um, Silhouette. But if you have a, another program where you can print as large as you want, then you still can you can figure out how to measure it in your program. But let's say you're going to do it in here and you want to, you know, um, Cricut is what is it 6.75 by 9.25 or something like that you can make this square that size whatever the um size limit is for cricket or silhouette but either way so to get all this image on this in this printable area here or let's just say it was the um maximum cricket um, size you could put it behind that box and then just slice and then get rid of that then make sure you um, put it correctly because you see here I got a little bit more down here than I do up here but make sure you get it within this box um, the parameters of this box or whatever size that you're trying to print that way you don't have to go and try to do any custom sizing or have it too big or too small or whatever just make sure you make a box that is pretty much the size you want to print but to use it for a t-shirt you will have to make sure it is a JPEG if you're going to pull it into these programs these these Cricut type programs because you do get a weird um, it, you see over here it, it does it does not read gradients well it just does crazy it's just like what is that we don't want no parts of it so flatten all the pixels so you don't get any weird or bad juju on your images and you should be fine you should be fine hope this helps and while I'm here, and I'll make a separate video for that, but I hope this helps, guys.